Hey guys, Bob with Eastside Guitar Star and Ukulele here, and you guys voted for it. Here is the winner of our poll for the next uh, music tutorial, 21 Pilots House of Gold for the Ukulele. So let's begin. So in this song, there are going to be three main sections. There's the intro section, what we'd like to call the A section, and the B section. And the intro section is just going to be a muted C. So you're going to play just like you play your normal C chord. But what he does is he likes to, he mutes the fourth, third, and second string like this. So you have that really cool percussive sound followed up by the, by the actual note C. And that only happens once at the beginning of the song, the intro for 12 measures. And um, just like lots of really cool rhythmic stuff, we're going to think 16th notes because that's what he's playing. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one He varies up that rhythm quite a bit if you listen really carefully. If you count along and you listen to the intro, you'll you'll see that he doesn't really stick to kind of like one rhythmic tendency. But what he overall, I think, the general environment of the intro is that he emphasizes the and of one while playing most of the rest of the sixteenth notes um, per measure. So when he ended to the end of three. place to start with that. So 12 measures of that. Um, and if you're new to ukulele, there's lots of ways to, to strum with the right hand. Kind of the, the initial way we like to learn is just with our first finger, just going down with that, using our finger now, and on the way up, just use the kind of the meaty part of your finger. I generally prefer to use my fingernails on the way down and my thumbnail on the way up. Find that I have a little bit more control and I can play a little bit quicker. So that's something to think about as you're working on this. So let's move on to the A section. So the A section is going to have eight measures and the chords are going to be as follows. One measure of C, one measure of F, one measure of A minor, one measure of G, so then the fifth measure is going to be C again. F. And then measure seven is going to be first two beats C, second beats G, second two beats G, and then the eighth measure is C. So I would start right there. See if you can play that in time at tempo with the recording. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a three and a four and a one. And just like the intro, he's going to be playing lots of really cool 16th note rhythms with his right hand. And again, the emphasis is generally going to fall on the hand of one. So even if you play every single 16th note and you just strummed uh, markedly harder on the hand of one, it'll, it'll fit right in with, with the recording. Um, and so let's go to the B section now. So the B section chord, again, it's going to be another eight measure section. And the B section chords are going to be F for the first measure, A7 the second measure, D minor for the third measure, B flat minor for the fourth measure, F for the fifth measure, C for measure six, F for measure seven, and C for measure six, F sorry, measure eight. So again, that's F, A seven, minor, B flat minor, F, C, F, C. And in a nutshell, those are the three sections that you need for the song. And the order goes as follows. He plays the intro for 12 measures, that muted C thing. Then he plays the A section, so A measures of the A. Then he plays the B section, A measures of the B. Then he's going to repeat the A section twice. And here's the other thing to, to keep in mind is, in between each A section, he adds an extra measure of C. So it would be like C, F, A minor, G, C, and here's measure 
6 EF, and then half measure C, half measure of G, half measure of C, and that's generally where we would end and go into the B section, but if he's going back to the A, he adds one more measure of C, and then he starts again at the top, so another measure, or another measure of C, and that would be measure 1. If you have any questions about this, you can always um, write to us directly and we can send you a PDF with a, a charted out version of uh, the order of chords. But if you have a great musical memory, then that's probably enough information to go on. So let's see if we can play along with the recording a little bit and see how it goes.